Hello, everybody. This is a um, egg de tempera tutorial um, for my art project for my art history class for Renaissance to Modern Day. And we're using egg whites and egg yolks with a powder to order to make tempera as in paint, which is used during the Renaissance period and medieval times. So here we go. Now, we just put a little of the egg yolk to one of the powders, like so. A little bit more, maybe. And a little bit more of the yolk to help it stick together. Then you're going to use a pencil, which I'm going to use, and you're going to lightly just blend it all together. And many of our um, famous painters use these, this um, style, to order to have their paintings work a certain way, to order to make um, paint. Because they can't go buy in the stores and get it because uh, there was no such thing as an art store. They have supplies, but it's a different way we consider supplies are. So, do you do? So my white powder, my gray white powder is done. So, but I want a darker color for my background I'm going to use for it. For my painting. So we're going to use a different side of the palette. Here we go. Here we are. Now get the egg yolk. By the way, I used only two eggs for this part of this project because um, I thought that would be enough. So here we go. And you're wondering, what is this powder? Hmm. Well, I have old eyeshadow that I use, that I have, that I don't use anymore. And I thought it'd be a nice way to use it for the project. And if it's like you have your problem with the chunks, don't worry, you can just do this. And just stir it up nicely. Okay, since it's nice and ready to go, we're going to start painting the background. Put that down. I already did a little sketch on my beautiful um, board. You can see I'm doing a plant, no, or a tree, you might call it. It's called um, a sakura tree from Japan, but I decided to try it with egg whites just to give it a little shot. Excuse me, moving around certain things. Okay, let's start. Let's see how it works. Now I'm going to get my paint brushes, <laughs> dab potentially. Very gentle, and we're just going to put it on the canvas. Oh, it's very smooth. You might need to put more color to it, let it dry. And... It's like a very light texture color, light paint. So you might, if you're going to do this project, I suggest that you um, let it dry and come back to it and repaint it. Like do like a, probably three layers maybe to do it. Hmm. 
And I'm going to use the white one for the moon and stars for the background, because I want to have a moon and star background with a dark color. My cherry blossoms. And also give it like a nice moonbeam color. See a little... I will, um, though, I won't spend like a whole time on this, but I will finish this product and post it later to see the full detail. I just want you all to see what type of project this is and how the texture, see how it's like really smooth on the canvas. Do it very smoothly. And you see, like these chunks, don't worry about that. You could come back and fix that. Because, look, you could smash it. And it will, or will work. See, ooh, it gives that nice creamy sound. Like, kind of like, um, Sound like you, uh, like a soft whipped cream texture of sound like. And if your brush gets like the crumbs, don't worry, we can come back and fix it. Let's just do this. Well, I am gonna up here but I will be posting this the finishing touch soon once I finish done painting and hopefully it will turn out the way I want it well I hope everybody liked this video and enjoy